The Great Parchment Book of the Honourable the Irish Society, among the collections we hold at London Metropolitan Archives, is quite unlike any book you will have come across before. The book was compiled in 1639 as a survey of all the estates in Londonderry and Coleraine managed by the City of London through the Irish Society and the London Livery Companies. James I had obliged the city to take these on as part of the plantation of Ulster. The Great Parchment Book was kept by the Irish Society in London because of its important evidential value. Unfortunately, a fire at the City of London Guildhall in 1786 destroyed most of the early records of the Irish Society. Among those which survived is the Great Parchment Book. However, the fire caused such dramatic shriveling and damage to the manuscript that it has been completely unavailable to researchers for over 200 years. The book now consists of 165 separate parchment pages, all of which are damaged, and a number of fragments. A large collaborative project to restore the Great Parchment Book was first proposed by staff at London Metropolitan Archives in 2009, and the support of the Irish Society was quickly gained. It became apparent that traditional conservation methods alone could not produce sufficient results to make the fragile manuscript accessible, the parchment being too shriveled in places to be returned to a readable state. Following discussions with imaging experts at University College London, it was decided that our conservation team would flatten the parchment sheets as far as possible, and UCL would use cutting-edge digital imaging techniques to gain legibility and enable digital access. To make the digital imaging possible, conservation treatment was undertaken in the areas where folds and creases were obscuring the text. First, as much surface dirt as possible was removed using this gentle cleaning technique. Then, a controlled and limited amount of moisture was used to humidify the pages by placing them between sheets of Gore-Tex and then moist blotting paper. The Gore-Tex transfers moisture from the blotting paper to the parchment in vapour form, and the sandwich is topped off with a sheet of polythene to keep the moisture in. After several hours, the pages had absorbed just the right amount of moisture for the heavy creases to be malleable, without posing any risk to the parchment or the ink. The pages were placed on top of a metal sheet wrapped in archival blotting paper, in preparation for further treatment. At this point, polyester wadding was delicately placed underneath the creased areas to gently push them out in a vertical direction. Once in place, Small magnets were placed around the areas of wadding to allow the pages to dry naturally under tension and to pull out the creases. Although in some cases it was only possible to release the creases fractionally, we knew that these small adjustments could make a significant difference to the digital capture process. This conservation work enabled our partners at UCL to develop a digital imaging process which would virtually uncover the text hidden in the creases. As you can see in this demonstration of the software they developed, their cutting-edge work on the computational approach to model, stretch and read the damaged parchment has greatly improved the legibility of the pages. Alongside the images of the pages, the website also features the text of the book, which has been painstakingly transcribed by an expert paleographer. Both the conservation treatment and the digital imaging process significantly helped the paleographer to read the text. The end result is the modernized transcription which sits alongside the original text and has been encoded using the international TEI standard for the representation of text in digital form. This allows searching by place, personal and livery company names and access to a glossary. The manuscript reveals key data about landholding and population in 17th century Ulster which will interest family and local historians and academics as the book represents an important source for the City of London's role in the colonisation and administration of Ulster. To start your exploration of the Great Parchment book Click on Take a Look Inside the Book. Search for a person, a place or a livery company. Alternatively, you can investigate one of the History tabs at the top of the homepage.